Hey guys, my name is John Dallas, and back in 2017, I started Real Talk Philosophy. Uh, this is a quick video explaining the uh, role of the local chapter leader. I'm sure that there are lots of other questions that you might have, so if you do, feel free to send me an email at any point, but I believe this will answer many of your questions, so let's roll into it, and thank you very much for taking the time to check out uh, what this role means. Um, there's other content on our website explaining exactly what Real Talk Philosophy is, but uh, just a quick rundown here. Uh, we tear apart the beliefs that tear us apart, so everybody in our project recognizes the increasing problem of political and social polarization plaguing America and the whole world. Uh, and we create community events that allow people from different sides of the political sphere to come together and have a meaningful conversation around these topics. Now, it's important to note the goal here is never to teach anyone anything, um, or rather it's not to tell people what they're supposed to believe, uh, but instead, we just want to show off the major arguments on each side of the issue and let people decide for themselves what they believe. But we make this fun. We use double-sided lectures, sure, and small group discussions, and we also create games, we create music, we create artwork all around these different topics. Uh, now, in the last three and a half years, we have uh, covered sorry, four and a half years, uh, we've covered 86 different topics ranging from cultural appropriation to polyamory, consciousness, psychedelics, the origins of sexual orientation, uh, whether or not sex work should be legal, whether or not we should have children. Um, and we explore each one of these um, with many different kinds of media um, at these live events. So uh, the local chapter leader is someone who's going to be facilitating these events and uh, and presenting these kinds of conversations. Uh, since 2017, Real Talk has had 231 uh, events for more than 8,000 people in eight cities around the world. Uh, that's in Hanoi, Vietnam, where we began. Uh, we expanded out to Da Nang, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, uh, Singapore, um, in Thailand, we were in Pai, Chiang Mai, and Koh Phangan. Uh, and now we're gonna be expanding out to the United States um, and abroad. So. Really excited to get going with you on this. Um, I'd like to show you our core team right now. Um, so we have people coming to us from uh, from the United States, from Thailand, from Singapore, from South Africa, um, uh, some from Bali, Indonesia, from India, um, from Thailand, I think I already said, from Vietnam from England. Um, so we're spread out all over the world, um, and you'd be a part of this international team. And everybody basically works uh, from behind their computer somewhere in the world for some amount of time each week. Um, essentially, the way that this whole thing works is that we have a product development team that's responsible for doing all the initial research, turning this research into some kind of presentation, uh, also into infographics and vocabulary sheets. And then we have a team of artists that then then uh, take that research and turn it into, uh, into some artwork and into songs. And we have game designers that create games based on each one of these topics. So that's our product development team. Now, those products then get sent out to our different um, our different event production teams. So we have an EFL component that's teaching English as a foreign language. We have a podcast component, a video production component. Uh, we do real talk events online as well. But what you are here for is this local chapter, uh, is for being a local chapter leader. So uh, these components each go to our local chapter leader coordinator, who then sends them out uh, to each one of the individual local chapters. Now, when you sign on to be a local chapter leader, um, you're actually going to be given access to our full repertoire of resources. Um, and uh, and we, we want to make sure that each one of the local chapters is made up of at least two people. Now, I know that you see three little circles down here. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit misleading. Um, the minimum number of people on a local team is two. We need at least one person facilitating the event, giving the lectures, facilitating the small group discussions, facilitating the games, introducing uh, the experts and the artwork. We need someone else to be taking photographs uh, and someone else to be um, at the front door collecting money. Um, so normally the person at the front door is the same as the person who's taking uh, taking photographs. If you want to have more people on your team, that's totally cool. But the minimum number of people on a team is two. Okay. 
And of course, if you can figure out a snazzy way to do this with less than two people, let me know about it. That sounds great, but we've not been able to do that so far yet. Um, and then of course, uh, behind you, we also have our own, uh, we have our own legal team, um, uh, marketing team, uh, financial team. Um, so um, we want to make sure that all of these services are provided to you, again, so that you can do uh, whatever, uh, what it is that you do best, which is facilitating uh, live events.